Welcome everybody to another video of Ancient Greece Reloaded. Today we will talk about the famous Vrisis, the woman that caused the rift between Achilles and Agamemnon during the Trojan War. By the way, if you like the video, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel so you stay tuned for upcoming videos. Vrisis, meaning the daughter of Briseus by Mother Unknown, also known as Hippodamia, is a significant character in the Iliad. Overall, her role as a status symbol is at the heart of the dispute between Achilles and Agamemnon that initiates the plot of Homer's epic. She was married to Minas, a son of King of Lyrnesus, until Achilles sacked her city and enslaved her shortly before the events of the poem. Being forced to give Vrisis to Agamemnon, Achilles refused to re-enter the battle. Description Vrisis receives the same minimal physical description as most other minor characters in the Iliad. She is described with the standard metrical epithets that the poem uses to describe a great beauty, though her appearance is left entirely up to the audience's imagination. She was imagined about two millennia later by the Byzantine poet John Zazes as Tall and white, her hair was black and curly. She had beautiful breasts and cheeks and nose. She was also well behaved. Her smile was bright, her eyebrows big. Mythology According to her mythology, Vrisis was the daughter of Briseus, though her mother was unnamed. She had three full brothers who died in the sack of Lyrnesus. When Achilles led the assault on Lyrnesus during the Trojan War, he captured Vrisis and slew her parents and brothers. She was subsequently given to Achilles as a war prize to be his concubine. In the Iliad, as in Mycenaean Greece, captive women like Vrisis were slaves and could be treated amongst the warriors. According to Book 1 of the Iliad, when Agamemnon was compelled by Apollo to give up his own slave, Chrysis, he demanded Vrisis as compensation. This prompted a quarrel with Achilles that culminated with Vrisis delivery to Agamemnon and Achilles protracted withdrawal from battle. His absence had disastrous consequences for the Greeks. Despite Agamemnon's grand offers of treasure and woman, he did not return to the fray until the death of Patroclus. Achilles was angry at Agamemnon and seized with rage in his tent that Agamemnon dared to insult him by stripping him of the prize that had been awarded to him. When Achilles returned to the fighting to avenge Patroclus' death and Agamemnon returned Vrisis to him, Agamemnon swore to Achilles that he had never slept with Vrisis. When Odysseus, Ajax and Phoenix visit Achilles to negotiate her return in Book 9, Achilles refers to Vrisis as his wife or his bride. He professes to have loved her as much as any man loves his wife, at one point using Menelaus and Helen to complain about the injustice of his wife being taken from him. This romantized domestic view of the relationship contrasts with Book 19, in which Vrisis herself speaks. As she laments Patroclus' death, she wonders what will happen to her without his intercession on her behalf, saying that Patroclus promised her he would get Achilles to make her his legal wife instead of his slave. She remained with Achilles until his death, which plunged her into great grief. She soon took it upon herself to prepare Achilles for the afterlife. This plunged her in even greater grief for her lover is said to have been an example of gentleness and courtesy, a warrior who never dishonored the daughters of his foes, as do those who, letting their minds be perverted by war, exercised their covetous, abundant defenseless. Finally, Vrisis was still heard of at the time when Achilles' son Neoptolemus, in her eyes looking like his father, came to Troy. But Neoptolemus, who after the sack of Troy received Hector's wife Andromache, did not take home his father's prize, and Vrisis, who once had been the cause of so much trouble, disappeared then from the chronicles. Let us finish with the following saying, Mind is the swiftest of things, for it runs through everything. Thales of Miletus. That being said, remember guys to hit the like button and to subscribe to our channel, it would help us a lot. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for upcoming videos.